I just can't believe this campsite had that. I mean, how incredible. Who'd have thought you'd find that here on this campsite? I mean, I am absolutely blown away by that, I must say. Unbelievable. Welcome everyone. In this episode, we are staying on Pond Farm campsite in Side Strand in Norfolk. We'll have a look around the campsite and be absolutely blown away at what that has to offer. Something I've never seen on a campsite, which really has made my day. We'll also check out the facilities and see what they have to offer. And then we will head off and see what is around in the local area. Yeah, hope you can join me, should be fun. Yeah, great little campsite. It does say on the website, small and rustic. And yeah, it is. I really like it. There's uh, two fields. There is one for adults and one for families. Now, I don't know which one I'm in because the kids are at school anyway. And there's not many people here, so I don't think it makes any difference today. But normally, yeah, there's one for couples and one for families, which is great if you want to get away from uh, annoying kids isn't it so yeah so it's £10 for the night for me because they charge per person so it's £10 a night per adult now for me £10 a night on here is great and I'm happy with that you know I am especially when you think the last video I did when I was in Brandon I paid £15 a night <laughs> now I haven't seen the facilities yet but this campsite does have some pretty good reviews so I'm expecting them to be pretty decent so I mean they can't be any worse than the Brandon campsite can they but we'll check them out in a minute and see but yeah great price for me 10 quid you know how can I not be loving it <laughs> the field I'm in there's only one other camper here there's a tent down there and that is it the rest of the field is empty so yeah I got to choose which field I wanted to go in. So there is no option for electric hookup, which is fine by me because I wouldn't use it anyway. So yeah, they do allow tents, camper vans and caravans, but they don't allow motorhomes, I believe. I don't know why, maybe it's to do with insurance. Maybe it's because they're a heavier vehicle and they get stuck in the mud. So uh, apparently last week there were some people getting stuck in the mud trying to leave here, but we have had a very wet few days, few weeks here, so it's to be expected really. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking it. First impressions, I'm really liking it. I'm gonna enjoy it. For 10 quid, of course I'm gonna enjoy it. Well, I'm just gonna have some breakfast slash dinner now before we head out. Bacon and eggs, I think. Yeah, why not? Wait, anything I was gonna mess about cooking, did you? Not when there's a world to explore. Bonga Ben's on holiday. <laughs> Ain't messing about cooking dinner. No chance. I love this bacon, but it's always so expensive in it. Co-op sandwich bacon. It's like £3.50 and you hardly get any. But obviously this was reduced. <laughs> right, well, let's go check out the facilities then. Now, I already have been given a little bit of a tour by the owner, so I know what to expect. But I haven't seen the toilets yet, but we'll go and have a look. So yeah, free toilets, 
three showers. Plenty good enough really because it is only a small campsite so yeah, all good. So yeah, there is a kitchen and there is some fridges, there is some stuff to make yourself a cup of tea and coffees. Now they do ask 50p in the donation box and there's like an oven here. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff actually. In fact, there is some stuff you can buy, pot noodle -y things and uh, yeah, check out this. All stuff you can buy and put money in the honesty box. So yeah, it's pretty decent, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> yeah, very good. Dried squid snacks, I am curious. So there are some lockers there as well. Yeah, and you can buy ice creams from the freezer. Pretty fantastic. I think I'm gonna to have to buy some of that dried squid. I've never had dried squid before, but I love jerky. So yeah, I'm quite excited about that. I'm gonna to have to go get some money and buy myself one of them and uh, check it out. <laughs> Brilliant. Yep, gotta try some of this squid. I assume it is for human consumption. It doesn't say otherwise. <laughs> Bongo Ben is actually honest as well, people. Now I will admit, obviously this is full of 20 P's and 10's that I want to get rid of, but it is the correct amount. So. Now I am really excited about this squid jerky. This sounds amazing. I can't wait to try this to be honest with you. Really pleased with this. Now apparently the campsite does have Wi-Fi, which is free, but they do say that is not very good, which I mean they never are, are they? So but yeah. Give this a go. Squid jerky. I'm full, I'm not hungry at all. I've literally just had dinner, but I just can't refuse this. Got across this off the uh to try list. Do you know what it smells like? Um, fish food. You know the flakes? Fish food flakes. Now I used to eat them as a kid just because I'm a jerk but yeah that is what it smell like but so I do know what they taste like so I guess I'll find out if they taste the same. Ooh, spicy. I've obviously added some flavour. Pretty damn good. Now I've got to say, this is boss. <laughs> I'm pretty convinced this is going to be the highlight of the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Try the stuff at the bottom because there's two different layers of different colour. So see what this is like. Less spicy. Really tough with this. Oh, the bottom layer is quite sweet. So you've got spicy and sweet. This is fantastic. I am really, really pleased with this. Honestly, I love stuff like this. <laughs> Good size bag for three quid as well. When you think about the price of jerky, there's a lot of meat in there. Right, well, let's head off then, people. See if we can get to Overstrand Beach and have a little beach walk. <laughs> let's roll. So I just left the campsite, I'm now walking down the narrow little lane which uh, brings you to the campsite and uh, I think I've got about a mile walk before I get to the Overstrand or I can get to the beach so should be a nice little walk down this narrow lane then I cut through Overstrand and yeah it should be good 
there is a quicker way you can get on that road over there but that's the coastal road and I think that's going to be a bit busier and there's no paths so uh, this way just looks a bit safer it's a little bit longer but it's going to be safer so <laughs> gotta be done <laughs> I can't get over that squid you know that is literally the highlight of this uh, video so far I am absolutely blown away by that in fact I might even use that as the uh, intro and in the thumbnail like I just can't believe this campsite had that I mean <laughs> how incredible who'd have thought you'd find that here on this campsite I mean I am absolutely blown away by that I must say unbelievable <laughs> So yeah, just got off the little lane down a footpath and I can see the sea in the distance. So yeah, should be there fairly soon. It's not too far at all. This isn't a bad walk. This bit's a little bit overgrown, but yeah, all good. Just stumbled across this far. Do a little bit of urban exploring. Let's uh, check this bad boy out, shall we? Yeah, a lot of seats. How's that for a camper van? <laughs> I have kind of come off the path a little bit, so I might be on private land. So best I uh, get a move on pretty sharpish, but saw that in the distance and wanted to check it out. Wow, that looks like a pretty impressive building. <laughs> I think they have Woodfords on tap as well by the looks of it. Now, I'm going to go in there and have a pint because I can't afford to at the minute. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a pretty boss place to be fair. Well, everything's pretty much closed because it's gone six o'clock. <laughs> but I don't think this is overly popular with tourists normally. You get a few down here, but it's a few holiday parks, but that's about it. There's not really hordes of people heading here. Cromer just over there is where a lot of tourists go. Well, looks like my beach walk plan to Cromer has been totally shat on by the tide. <laughs> Never mind, eh? Bit garrant, it would have been nice to walk down to Cromer along the beach, but I can walk along the coastal path, obviously, but it's nice to be on the beach, you know, away from everybody. Yeah, probably potter about here for a little bit anyway. Oh, I might be able to make it down there. Yeah, there is a bit of a beach over there I can see in the distance. I might go check that out. Yeah, beautiful Norfolk Sea, eh? Pretty much the same colour as that liquid that comes out of my portaloo. Never mind. Well, there is a bit of beach behind me that we can walk to, to Cromer. There are some people on the beach, so hopefully the tide isn't coming in too much further. <laughs> you can see the Cromer Pier in the distance there. So yeah, I might head off down there. Thank you. 
So the channel yesterday hit 500 subscribers. Boom! <laughs> and I am well chuffed. Over the moon, people. Thank you very much. <laughs> now by the time you see this video, it'll be a few weeks away. So hopefully by then I'll probably have about 510. That's probably about how the channel goes for subscriber-wise. But yeah, really happy with that. So thanks everyone who subscribed. Um, I think I've decided I'm going to buy some more of that squid. To be fair, I decided that straight away. But I think I'm going to buy some more and uh, save it for when I hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. And then I'm going to eat some more of that squid. Take some out on a video and eat it as my little treat to myself for succeeding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That survey boat keep going up and down, up and down. Pretty sure he spotted me and was like, hey, that's Bongo Ben, the one and only. <laughs> but did you want an autograph, mate? Yeah, nah, no worries. I'll sign something for you, no worries. Sometimes that's good to take a moment to reflect, eh? Yep, that truly was some amazing squid. So just as you come up to Cromer, you come up to this uh, sea defence wall here. And this is where the uh, famous artist Banksy actually did one of his bits of artwork. That must be mega fun to go out on one of them and slide down that ramp. I would absolutely love that. <laughs> So 
So yeah, just had a walk through Cromer. Uh, didn't really go into Cromer. Now Cromer is a very big tourist destination. I'm sure you've heard of it. And uh, I would have liked to have gone into Cromer, but it's just, it's getting dark. There's just not enough time in the day. So, you know, maybe one day I'll come back and do that in another video if you want to see that. But yeah, Cromer is a lovely place, really. Very touristy, a lot of holiday parks about and that sort of thing. But yeah, just going to have some tea anyway. And then uh, head back. Got some sardines and salad. Oh yeah. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> well, I'm going to slowly make my way back now. Uh, still got quite a bit of beach walking to do before I'm back, so I'm going to take my time and uh, enjoy myself. Well, I found a nice little bit of wood to sit on, so I thought I'd stop and have myself a beer. Yep, why not? Now, I would like to thank a subscriber who's made a donation to future windscreen repairs. Thank you very much, Ruben Bastine, mate, really appreciated. Now, I apologize, because I probably said your surname wrong there. You have to bear with me. I'm not a very intelligent man, but I really appreciate that. Cheers. Thanks everyone because the channel's just hit 500 subscribers so if you are subscribed, thank you. That really mean a lot. I am really surprised. I didn't expect to get to 500. I thought I'd probably end up giving up, getting nowhere. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> I understand, like, I'm not the kind of person most people want to watch on their TV but the fact that 500 of you do is brilliant. So yeah, thank you. Well, I'm back now, people. It's gone 11 and I'm pretty shattered, so I'm just going to get the bed set up and then probably just lie there for about half an hour contemplating life and then uh, hopefully get some sleep. So, yeah, I shall see you in the morning. Morning, everyone. Yeah, I didn't sleep too great last night. I woke up quite a bit in the night. Now, that's no fault of the campsite. That's just sometimes I go through these phases where I don't sleep too great. <laughs> so there is a toilet waste disposable point. It's a little bit close to the toilet. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful you don't splash people coming out of the toilet. But, you know, there is one there for people anyway. I've been and checked out the bins and the bins are good. And there's recycling bins as well. So, yep, happy with that, definitely. So the only negative thing I can say is if you come down here with a family of four and your kids are 16 years old then it's going to cost you 40 quid a night and in my opinion that is too expensive you know now for me 10 quid a night on my own yeah i'm loving it you know i don't expect a flat area to camp on i don't expect electricity i'm more than happy with the facilities for 10 pound a night but i do think that for a family of four 40 quid would be too steep in my opinion so according to the website the closest shop and pub would be within one mile away now that might be where we were yesterday in overstrand because that is around a mile away but it could be in trimmingham because trimmingham is not very far in the opposite direction but i don't think there's really much in trimmingham so yeah a mile for a shop or a bar or anything like that um chroma is three miles away chroma is quite a touristy destination a lot of people visit chroma and there's a train station in chroma well i have had a great stay here and yeah i definitely love that squid i'd definitely be returning for that you know i would <laughs> so i've just come out of the campsite campsite is just behind me there and i've just taken this path directly opposite the campsite to side strand 
to find a bus stop and there is a bus stop literally just behind those houses so there is a bus stop for a bus that runs to Chroma very close and I've also discovered I think the campsite owner tried to explain it to me but I was in a world of my own that when you get to side strand you can walk along pathways without walking along the main road to get to Overstrand. So if I'd have done this yesterday, I'd have cut out a lot of walking time. <laughs> yeah, but never mind, I wouldn't have got to explore that abandoned camper van thing. So, you know, all part of the adventure. But yeah, if you come here, the quickest way to Overstrand is the footpath directly opposite the campsite to Side Strand and then walk through Side Strand. <laughs> never mind, eh? Well, I'm now about to pack up and head off. I've been and stocked up on squid for uh, when the channel hit its next milestone, the big 1000. Hopefully it'll happen this year, but we'll see. <laughs> now I have definitely enjoyed this campsite, and for 10 quid you can't go wrong. I would definitely return. And when you think about the last video I made, I was on that site in Brandon, and that was £15, and the conditions of that site were horrendous to say the least. You know, that was a shocking site. And the price difference between this site and that site, and the quality of site, is just unbelievable. Now, if you haven't seen it, it's this video here. I recommend giving it a watch, because uh, you'll know why I like this site so much if you compare it to this site here. <laughs> yeah, cheers for watching anyway, people. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you can catch me for another one. Keep living the dream.